Hi everybody, Melanie from Bromley House Library with an update on all things happening here and uh, the things that are going to be changing for August. When I say here, uh, that's probably not very accurate because I'm in my dining room at the moment. Uh, it's hard to do videos from the library now that our doors are back open. Uh, so staff are there working away and I'm here talking to you. So we've been open for four weeks now, uh, four weeks into our recovery process at the library and it's been it's been wonderful to see so many of you come back through our doors. Uh, it really has breathed life back into the library and we've loved having a chat with you and uh, particularly enjoyed seeing you go out of the library with so many books in your arms. Uh, that's what we're here for and that's what we wanted to see so desperately. So now that we're four weeks in, we've had a think about the measures uh, that we've got in place and we feel comfortable enough relaxing some of those measures just a little bit. So I wanted to talk you through that and explain what's changing from August. Before I do that, I, I want to say that I know that things are still balanced on a bit of a knife edge in the country. And we saw yesterday that there's going to be a local lockdown imposed in Northern England. Um, so we're really mindful of that and that these things could change at any point and that we need to be really cautious um, as we start to open up more. So we, we feel that we're doing as much as we can, but it has to be slow progress because of the situation. But what we'll be offering from August is this. So. Uh, from August you'll be able to book for up to two hours uh, in the library to browse, talk to us, visit the counter, use the garden. Uh, so we've extended that from one hour based on feedback from you, that you felt that it was a bit of a rushed visit only having an hour. So you can now stay that little bit longer. You can also book from 9.30 in the morning, so if you're an early bird you can come and see us a little bit earlier than before. It's still going to be six slots per hour, that isn't going to change. But it just means that you can be a bit more relaxed when you come. So six slots an hour, but you can book from 9.30 in the morning and you can stay for up to two hours if you want. The only exception to that is any visits that are booked after two o'clock because we still need you out of the building by four at the latest so that we can do shelving and other things that require us to move around the building a bit more. Another change is we will be offering uh, the option to book some of the tables in some of our rooms. If you want to do a bit of work, a bit of research, some studying, this was feedback that we had from you that you really missed that option, so we're adding that into uh, our offer at the library for now. So you'll be able to book rooms in the studio, in the Victor Simmons room, both in the attics, um, or the tables in the new reading room. And you can book those for up to half a day, um, which will give you hopefully enough time to just get in, stuck into some work or some study. Um, and I would say that if those tables aren't booked, say you book in the morning and they're not booked for the afternoon, you can, of course, ask if you can stay a bit longer as well. We want to be as flexible as we can. Other rooms in the building will have uh, at least one chair available if you want to do a bit of short study, uh, a bit of short research, sit down and read a book. Uh, we really want to be flexible around that as much as we can, but it will just be one chair and uh, we can't have groups of people meeting around tables yet. We can't have groups back in the building. Unfortunately, it's too soon for that, but hopefully that helps too. And another big change is we're going to be bringing hot drinks back into the library. So tea, coffee, all the usual stuff will be available in the coffee room from August again. Um, and we'll make a few changes there. So things like sugar will be in individual sachets. The milk will be in a sealed jug. Things to make it that little bit safer. And obviously we'll bring that into our cleaning routine as well. Uh, but it just seemed a bit cruel to say, come and stay for up to three hours, but we can't give you a drink. And we know our drinks are probably better than a lot of the ones you'll get on the high street. So come back to the coffee room and, and have a drink with us. Uh, so they're the main changes. Everything else kind of stays as it was for now. As I said, we'll gradually try and uh, relax things as we can, but it has to be slow progress. Um, one other change, though, is that our booking system will be upgraded from August. <laughs> the first version was a little bit on the clunky side. And we knew, uh, well, it was frustrating for us, and I know that it was frustrating for some of you to use as well. So the new one you should find a lot easier and more reliable. And you should get emails when you book, um, which will also allow you to uh, change your booking or cancel your booking. But as always, we're really happy to take any bookings over the phone. Um, or if you're in town, just give us a buzz and see if there's a slot available to pop in. Because we'll always let you in if we possibly can. It would be great to see you. <coughs> um, one other thing I wanted to say actually about masks, um, we've been asked if we are a place where you have to wear a face mask now. Libraries don't appear to be one of the places that the government has said is a mandatory requirement. So we're going to stick with our previous um, policy, which was wear a mask if you can. Um, certainly when you're around other members, uh, it would be appreciated if you're able to wear a mask that you do so. 
Um, but it isn't mandatory at the library um, at, for various reasons because of the number of people in the building and also because we have the booking system it means we're not part of that mandatory list. But as I said if you can, um, if it's possible, if it's sensible please do so. Uh, so it's great if you can come back in come back in we would love to see you i know that some of you still have to shield some of you aren't able to come back in so i'm really pleased that uh, this week we had our first outing of what we're calling the bromley house bookmobile which is our book delivery and collection service so an offer to those members who can't come to the library to either have someone come and collect your books from you to be returned or to bring you any new books that you're after um, if you hadn't heard about that, if you want to be part of it or if you know someone that would like to be part of it, get in touch and we'll add you onto the list um, and hopefully the bookmobile can come round to you as well. What else did I want to tell you about? Oh, just one other thing actually about the catalogue. I've had a lot of people asking, when can I log into Bromcat and place reservations and see my account? I had hoped that would be from now, um, but in all honesty we need a little bit more time to get the back end of it running really smoothly. So bear with us for a little bit longer. Um, if you've been into the library, you'll know that we're issuing books through the system now and that's working really well. Um, but in due course, you'll be able to log in to the catalogue yourself and see your account, see any books that you've got out, place reservations, renew books yourself from home, all of those things. But we don't want to unleash this onto the world until we're absolutely sure that it works perfectly. So just give us another maybe two or three weeks and we will be ready for that. Uh, but as always with Bromley House, you only have to engage with the technology if you want to. We are still there behind the counter at the other end of the phone and we can still take care of everything for you. That's really important. That's part of the way that we work. So I think I've probably said enough. Uh, you've got plenty to read in the e-bulletin this time um, and some more videos as well. Anya's put some great videos on there, um, books about churches. Hope you enjoy that. So I'm going to go now, but as I said, I really hope to see some of you soon. If you've got any feedback on anything that we're doing, positive or otherwise, please get in touch. We're trying to make this the best experience we possibly can for you. Um, and we want to get back to normal as soon as we're able to. Um, but please keep bearing with us and thank you for all your support.